How's it going folks? It's Saturday and uh, it's a car vlog. Saturday evening, uh, it's just after 8 p.m. I'm in the car on the way to work. And today, today's one of those days where there wasn't a whole lot done. Um, went out last night, had a bit of a late one, uh, with Paul and a few friends, and uh, spent the rest of the day, then today, with the family and just chilling out. Literally went into the office to get today's vlog published, um, which I wasn't going to do, to be honest. Um, I kind of thought about just not editing or publishing. I was a bit tight for time and thought, you know what, maybe I'll just leave it. There's not a whole lot in yesterday's vlog um, because, again, I was working yesterday. I didn't have a whole lot of time, but about an hour and a half. Um, but I got, I did record stuff yesterday for the vlog, so. I wasn't going to bother publishing, but I decided, you know what, the footage was there. It wouldn't take me too long to put together. It's only a couple of minutes of a vlog, um, and it's mostly just, well, it's pretty much all just me to camera. There was no Paul yesterday in the vlog. Uh, there's no Paul today. Paul's having a little break. And yeah, the temptation not to do it was, was strong. Um, but I decided that it's every day, that's what we're aiming to do. Um, publish a vlog daily documenting what we do when we do it and I had worked on the vlog on the blog so why not do it you know um, today I haven't done any work on the blog at all um, I did edit the vlog obviously to go out but that was a, a very short edit I think I think it took me 20 minutes to edit that if and get it uploaded and create the thumbnail and do the social media um, so that was it. And then I've had to jump in the car and come to work. Hence the reason I'm talking to you in the car on the way. Um, because again, the temptation was not to record anything and just leave it there and not publish a vlog today. But I made a commitment to turn up and show up and document as best we can. So that's what this is. This is an update really. Um, have next Tuesday's Q&A video edited uh, that just needs to be uploaded and I have next Thursday's podcast edited so I'm ahead of myself there then the only thing I had to worry about is Tuesday's article and the more and more I've been mulling over Tuesday's article, it just it just wasn't really working for me. I couldn't find, I wasn't finding the angle that I thought would be useful to you guys um, and beneficial. So I have decided to scrap the article, or at least the concept. And I have decided to write something entirely different. Same topic, just a different article with a different theme and a different feel to it. Um, so what I'm doing is I am looking at ways of collecting email addresses. Now, I still need to fully flesh this out in my own head before I start creating it. Um, but what I want to look at is having, having spent the last two weeks looking at email, I want to look at collecting emails, so creative ways people are getting people on their list. So what are the people doing? How are they setting it up? You know, pop-ups, just a list in the sidebar, in articles, um, content upgrades, freebies, stuff like that. So I'm gonna look at a couple of different ways in which you can get people onto your list. Um, and hopefully have some examples of, of it done right 
um, from around the web. So it won't just be what we do, I'll actually be looking at other people, other bloggers, um, and showing what they're doing and hopefully being able to explain how they've done it and what you might need to do to replicate that. Um, so I haven't decided on how many I'm going to do and the reason is, is that I want this to be something that's actionable. I want you to be able to read this article, watch the accompanying video and then be able to create one or two of these um, opt-ins. So I don't know how many to look at simply because if you put too many in the article, people won't do any. The article will be too big, people won't give it time because you look at it and think that's far too long for me to read or that video is too long for me to watch. So I need to pick out the main ones that I think are of benefit to people that are relatively easy to do that can kind of basically you can look at it and get it done um, fairly quickly. So I need to firm up on that but I've, yeah I've completely scrapped what I was going to write about on Tuesday. It was about email um, but I've changed my idea on that now and that's where I'm at. So. I do have to write that. I'm in work now tonight. I'm actually working the next four nights. So I'll have to find time during the day over the next kind of, well, today's Saturday. So I've got Sunday and Monday, the next two days really to write this. Um, and this is the first time in a while I've been under the gun for writing a blog post. Um, I've been ahead of myself where I've at least had four drafts done at this stage in the week. Um, but the first drafts and stuff that I, it just wasn't sitting with me, the other article. So uh, this one sits with me far better. I think it's better, better content. It's actionable. I think it's people will find it useful. So that's what I'm doing. Uh, and that's really it. As I said, uh, under pressure for the next two days to get that done. And the reason I suppose I decided to record this quick update rather than doing nothing was just to kind of explain that sometimes you have an idea, you have a concept, you even start writing. And it just doesn't work and you just you know some people get very attached to the words they write and the ideas they have sometimes you just have to accept that right now at this particular moment in time that that's not right to publish um and you scrap it completely it never it never gets anywhere near being published now i'm not suggesting that you would delete everything i am a believer that you should keep everything you do because you can then maybe come back to it at a later stage um, and work it into something else. But I just wanted to kind of explain that, that you know not everything you write is going to get published, not every idea is going to be worth going on, going on with and after a little bit of time spent on it you realize it's not right and you get rid of it. So don't feel that just because you've spent time on it or put some effort into it that you have to see it through. Sometimes you're better off just leaving it there and going in a different direction. So that's what I'm doing. So again, that's it from me, folks. Happy uh, Sunday, I suppose, as you're watching this. Uh, Saturday from me. Enjoy the rest of your day, wherever you are and whatever you're up to. And uh, I'll see you tomorrow.